Wrong species. Got him. As soon as I hit the water. Nice bass, man. Second bass of the day. I didn't get the other one on camera. I knew this popper would work. As soon as I hit the water, he pounced on it. I caught another bass off camera that was three pounds, uh, two ounces, and a crappie on this popper. And I decided to put the camera back on, and I'm having a lot of fun with this new spinner rod I just got. Not a big one, but you know what? He fight hard on a spinning tackle. I tell you what, look, that crappie put a hook in my finger, so I'm bleeding a little bit. It's gonna be hard to grab these fish a little bit. Just couldn't get out of my head. And this fish just stinks. Did he poop all over me? But nice little bass. There it goes. Alright, so I got a bass, two bass, a crappie, and a pickerel today so far. I'm gonna make that cast again because a lot of times there's fish in the same area. Pickerel. He destroyed that. I gotta be so careful. Perfect. Came right off. No! Uh. Pickerel. Man. It's a nice hit though. I thought it was gonna be a bass. Fucking careful with these. Well, found a pickerel nursery. A lot of them around here. Come here, that's a pickerel, isn't it? Uh, oh, come on! <laughs> really? Um, I'm a negative one. And my frog. See, in New York, we catch pike. And I, I love catching pike, but pickerel, uh-uh. You just had enough of them. Dangler. <laughs> oh, got him. Dude, it's a big one. Dangler, and it's big. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, I did it. It's a giant. It's like a three pounder, bro. Dangler, did you see the tree branch? Dude, we got a picture with this one. Oh, it worked. I finally got it on video. But there was a little bit fatter. There's nothing better than that. Was so it's like a three pounder, easy. Oh, oh, I got. I hope I got the shot of the tree branch just coming down. Like, holy crap! Here, let me get this grass out of his face and I'll let you take a picture of him. Oh. Eh, I don't know if he's three though. He's, I think he's, he's about, three. about he's he's probably like two nine, two eight. He's close. He's so fat though. Like, geez. There she goes. Dude, he fought so hard. Did you see me fighting him? So is it the water? Nice. It's a nice one too. Get out of the weeds. Keep his head up. Here we go. They're nice in here, man. 
Number two. Got the one hook again. Second bass of the day on a frog. Guys, we got perfect weather conditions for frog fishing. It's in the middle of July. There's a cold front approaching from the west. We got heavy thunderstorms coming in tonight. Barometric pressure is dropping like a rock. Strong southwest wind. Perfect conditions to throw top water. Doesn't get any better than this. We're not done yet. We're catching more fish <laughs> before this rain gets here. Stay tuned, guys. First cast on the popper. They like poppers in here, I tell you what. First cast on the popper. Last time I was here, I was throwing a popper and got a couple fish. Ow, man, these fish. Gotta watch the popper. Nice little bass. Fucking scared, but something's gonna hit it right at the boat one of these times. Bug on my neck, tiny little dick pick. Saw him wake over there and let it sit, and he went after the feather. Here we go, little pickerel. Man, these pickerel hit it hard. <sighs> Another one. Goodbye. God, they're so annoying, but there's a lot of them in here. You gotta deal with it. Fuck me, man. What the hell? Fucking missed it. That was aggressive. You guys probably aren't going to see much because it's dark, getting dark now, but this lake always has potential for one really big bass, so I'm leaving it on. No matter how cruddy the footage may look. One thing throwing these top waters with treble hooks and uh, braided line is uh, you got to remember to loosen the drag once you get that bass up closer to the boat because he's going to try to make runs on you and if your drag's too tight you can rip the hooks out of his mouth if he's not hooked very well. Uh, in New York I caught a four and a half pound bass and I wouldn't have caught it if I didn't loosen the drag because he was barely hooked. He'd blend, he even bent out the split rings and uh, got him in because I loosened that drag and he took a couple runs. So just remember that when you're throwing a topwater lure, anything with trebles, to uh, keep it tight when you're fishing it and then once you hook into a fish and get it halfway to the boat, start backing off on it a little bit. <laughs> 